guys, what's up? It's Amber and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. And if you are new here, you should definitely subscribe. So for today's video, I am so, so excited to be doing a get ready with me on my birthday. And I have the two four behind me. I am 24 years old today. It is currently 3.53 p.m. and I was actually born at 4.42 p.m. So while I'm filming this video, I will officially be turning 24 years old. I actually planned on filming this video last night and I actually got way too drunk before the video even started. So unfortunately I was not able to film last night. Before we dive in, I just wanna do shout out of the week real quick. So this week's shout out of the week goes to the young bee on YouTube. They called me out for not doing shout out of the week in the last vlog, I'm so sorry. All right, so without further ado, let's pop this baby open and get into the makeup. I wish I had orange juice so I could make mimosas, but instead we're just gonna be drinking straight up champagne today because I was too lazy to go to the store and get orange juice. I'm just so in love with this pink bottle and it even has an Eiffel Tower on it, like right in the middle. Popping champagne is like one of my favorite things to do in the whole world. Also, I have not done makeup in months. I've barely worn makeup during quarantine. I've only put it on a couple of times. So I don't even know if I'm gonna have makeup that matches my freaking skin tone or not. We will see, it's gonna be an adventure today. All right, let's pop this baby. I'm gonna scare Tundi Bear. Ooh, oh, she barely flinched, she knows. While I do my makeup today, I am gonna be going on Twitter and answering some questions slash talking about some topics that you guys gave me to talk about. And of course, I'm wearing the iconic cat ears because I don't get many chances to, only when I do my makeup. And as I said, I have not been doing my makeup lately. I'm gonna start off by priming my face. I figured we could just talk about my birthday first, I guess. I've always loved having birthdays in the summer, except I always was kind of sad because like I was always jealous of people who got birthdays in school and like got to bring snacks in for the class and like have a little birthday party in school. I always thought that was so cool. But then again, the summer is amazing because you can literally do anything. I could travel for my birthday. We've gone to Disney World for my birthday a couple of times, which was so exciting and so fun. It's kind of nice because I know whenever my birthday's over, it's like on to fall, on to Halloween, then Christmas. I love this time of year. It's so exciting. In fact, I'm actually burning a pumpkin pecan waffles candle right now. I'm low key like ready to decorate my room for fall tomorrow <laughs> if I have time. So expect fall videos coming very soon. I do not play around. I'm jumping right on to fall after this. Dina says, are we getting new B-Day balloon picks? Of course you are. I'm about to take them right after this video. The first question is from Megan, my girl. She says, you should talk about some story times from you being drunk or something. I'm sure there are some interesting ones out there. The first drunk story I will tell you guys, and I'll tell you more some other time. Maybe I can do a video where I literally just talk about stupid things I've done while I was drunk. I will tell you the story of my birthday last year. Whew. Okay, so my birthday last year, I'm not gonna lie, it's very blurry, I do not remember much. However, my birthday was on a Wednesday last year. So I actually decided that on Wednesday night I wanted to go to my work and have some drinks with my coworkers and with my friends. If you did not know, I actually am a waitress slash bartender. I really wanted to go to the restaurant that I work at and have like a little birthday celebration with all my favorite people. So I went to my work, I had a lovely salmon dinner. For some reason, I was drinking Corona all night. I know it's ironic now, but Corona has always been my summer beer. Typically, beer is not what I would have drank. But for some reason, I was like, you know what? Like, I have a long night ahead of me. I'll drink beer, something that's lighter and won't get me as drunk as fast. But that was a very stupid decision because no matter what, I mean, on your birthday, people are most likely gonna be buying you drinks if you're out with like your friends. So people were buying me drinks all night. Like, I didn't pay for a single drink. Whenever I would take a shot with people, I would take a shot of Patron, which is tequila. And mm <laughs> That's just where the night started. So I had my dinner and I was drinking beer with my dinner and of course, like we were having shots. I think I left the bar having, God, I don't know, at least four Coronas and I think I had like eight shots of Patron. It was insane. Once I had a full belly of alcohol and fish, we decided to go to another bar. Of course, just a disclaimer, I did have a designated driver. Always make sure if you are out drinking publicly or like somewhere that isn't your own home where you don't have to like leave, please make sure you have a designated driver. Just please always drink responsibly. I also discovered before we left my work that I had gotten my period through my white shorts. 
So that was really fun to find out. And I was so pissed because I was like, you know what? Like, I'm not letting this ruin my night. We did what we had to do. Luckily, I had a really large jean jacket on. So it kind of like fell and like covered my butt so you couldn't see it. It was crazy. And then long story short, the last thing I remember, I was feeling like I needed to be ill <laughs> and going to find a toilet to be ill in. That is when my friends carried me to the car and we went home. Well, we didn't go home. First, we went to McDonald's so everybody else could eat. I was dying in the back of the car and everything I ate came up and it was disgusting. But you know what? It was fun. My friend took me back to her house. She freaking bathed me, dressed me, and then put me to bed. And then I didn't wake up until 4 p.m. the next day and I could not talk because of how much I had thrown up. I physically could not talk. So learn from my mistakes, kids. Don't be stupid, but it was really fun. I don't enjoy getting that drunk. It's fun every once in a while. And as long as, like I said, if you're in a safe place, a safe environment, knock your socks off, but just be careful. Even when you're sober, you cannot trust people. You know, like you need to make sure you're around people that you really trust and that really care about you. And luckily I was surrounded by amazing people all night. Like I trust those people with my life and they took amazing care of me. And I don't always drink that much, but like I said, when it's your birthday, like people are buying you drinks, but it was hilarious. Like people still bring up that night. So the next question is which artists besides Ariana and Posty do you like? Is there any music that you dislike? So some of my favorite artists that I love aside from Ariana and Post Malone, Mac Miller, of course, I actually love Mac Miller. Then I also really like Drake. I love Drake's music. I know a lot of people think he's overrated and to each their own, you know, like there are a lot of artists I think are overrated. I don't know, I just, I've followed up with him ever since he was on Degrassi and there is a lot of music of his that I don't relate to and don't really listen to, but there's also a good amount of his music that I really love and enjoy. So probably Drake. I don't know, there aren't really many artists that I listen to like the way I listen to Ariana and Post Malone where I listen to like every single song they've ever made. And I know I'm forgetting people. Like I know that I'm gonna forget someone really important, but you'll just have to go check out my Spotify if you guys wanna know what I'm listening to these days. And any music that I don't listen to, honestly, I'll listen to anything. Like if I can vibe to it and if somebody else really likes it and they're playing it for me, I can appreciate it. However, my least favorite genre of music is probably like either screamo music or country. But again, I will listen to it. Like in the summer, I love a good country concert and there are country artists that I love and adore and that I have seen live and listened to. So it just kind of depends. The next question is, can you show us your birthday cake? My mom actually showed me the birthday cake that she had made for me today. And it is so cute and so sweet. So I am gonna insert a picture. Ugh, it's so cute. I am quickly just gonna go do my eyebrows and I will be right back. All right, the eyebrows are done. I'm not gonna lie, my eyebrows have been driving me crazy lately. Like. So now I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow and I had to dig through my makeup collection to find an unproblematic makeup product that I could use. And I decided to go with the James Charles palette. I don't know how everyone feels about Sister James, but I really look up to him as far as like the way he runs his business. And he has obviously a very successful YouTube channel. He's dealt with controversy and scandals pretty well, so I don't know. Think what you may, but I'm still gonna continue to use this palette because I spent money on it and it's an amazing palette. The next question is, if you could vacation with three celebrities, who would they be? Obviously, Ariana Grande <laughs> would be one of them. I would love to freaking hang out with Ariana. I think that she must be the coolest person ever. I would obviously love to vacation with Post Malone. I'm hoping that someday we can get married. We will see, I guess, because I think he's taken right now. Oh wait, I have to take my eyes. Oh my God, see, this is how long it's been since I've done my makeup. Who would my other celebrity be? Emma Watson. I just think that she is such a beautiful human. Everything that she stands for and like all of the things that she puts her money and time into, I just think that she's a very admirable person and I would love to spend time with her and pick her brain. You should talk about the new fall merch. Ooh, so I do have some new fall merch coming out and I won't lie, this is the merch that like I'm the most excited about. I think that it's the most different. I think you guys are gonna be really surprised. In fact, I'm supposed to be getting the samples in the mail really, really soon and then I'll be able to give you more updates but yeah I am super super excited about that I just oh I just love making new stuff and the feedback that I've had on my merch has been freaking amazing like I literally have dreamt my whole entire life of owning a business and yeah it's a really small business right now but I don't care it's a business I always felt really crappy because I am a college dropout I did go to college for a couple of years and then I dropped out after two years it's just because school was not for me I have have terrible issues with my memory and I cannot remember anything 
And I hate that like school teaches you that you need to memorize everything in order to be successful, which is not true. It's great to have knowledge and to be knowledgeable on whatever it is you're trying to pursue. I just hate that it's pass or fail because life is not pass or fail. You know, you can fail a million times in life and it doesn't mean that your life is over. So I don't know, school was just not for me. Just seeing that I actually started a business, no matter how big or small it is, without having a college degree when people told me that I would fail without a college degree is just a really, really good feeling. And I just want to make sure that all of you guys grasp from my videos that you should follow your gut and you should do what you want to do because again, it's your life. And of course you have to respect your parents or your guardians or whoever it is that are taking care of you. Like obviously they're gonna give their input. You know, if you live in my house, you're gonna go by my rules. That's what my parents said. I listened to them. I went to school and I told them that I just couldn't do it anymore. And it took them a little bit to respect my decision of dropping out. But I think now they see that I really am gonna make a name for myself. Like there's no other option <laughs> really at this point. Like I need to work hard to make money to survive. And whether it's through my waitressing job or whether it's through whatever I can do with YouTube and that aspect of my career, I'm gonna do it because I literally have no other option. <laughs> you know, you gotta pay your bills somehow. Yeah, so back to the fall merch. I am so excited for you guys to see it. I'll give you one hint and it is that you guys asked for merch that has to do with Ratchet because you know, I always say Ratchet. It's literally my thing. I've said it since I was in high school. Like me and my best friend Kelly used to say Ratchet all the time. The next question is what do you think of Ariana's new perfume? So if you did not know, Ariana Grande actually just released almost all of the details of her new perfume, which is called Rem. The bottle of the freaking perfume is so gorgeous. It is literally so beautiful. I think it's lavender colored. It was hard to tell from the pictures whether it's lavender or pink, but I think it's a lavender color and it has crystals all over the bottle. It is literally stunning. As far as packaging goes, I think that it's my favorite packaging hands down so far. Of course, once I get it and actually like feel it for myself, I'll be able to tell you a little bit more about if it's my favorite packaging or not, but I am so excited to smell it. If you guys did not know, my favorite perfume by Ari is Cloud. Mm, it's literally her best fragrance. I don't even care. And I'm actually almost out of cloud, so I really am so excited for this fragrance to come out. It comes out next week, and I, of course, will be reviewing it for my channel, so stay tuned. So the next question is, would you go to Gabby's tour when she announces it? Yes, absolutely. I 100% will go to Gabby's tour when she announces it, as long as it's safe to travel and everything. I was so sad because Gabby's tour was actually something I was looking forward to for this year so much. As soon as she announced at the beginning of 2020 or the end of 2019 that she was going to be doing a tour for her music that she's releasing, I died. I was like, oh my God, finally I get to hear Gabby sing live. And I was so excited to meet so many of you guys who had said you were going to go see Gabby on tour. I was really sad that it didn't happen, but you know, things happen and that's just how life is this year. The eyes are almost complete. Now it's just time to do the under lash line, whatever it's called, the lower lash line. I'm gonna finish drinking this champagne. We might need to refill one more time before this video is over. I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's 4.42 p.m. It's officially my birthday. Happy birthday. To me, I am officially 24 years old, feeling great, life is great. Next question is, what is your favorite Ariana song to hear live? That is a really great question because I actually have a couple different answers for that. One of my first answers is Dangerous Woman because Dangerous Woman, especially lately, Ariana has literally been going off when she sings it live. She literally has me with full body chills whenever she performs that song. She is just insane. I literally like don't understand how she sounds so good. Other than that though, for so long, my favorite song ever to hear live was Tattooed Heart by Ariana Grande. And I used to replay this one particular performance over and over again of her singing Tattooed Heart. And it literally was like my favorite thing in the world. And then fast forward, I actually got to hear it live myself. And it was literally the coolest thing in the whole wide world. She sounded absolutely amazing. I can't even believe I got to hear Tattooed Heart live. Okay, you guys, we are almost to the end of this makeup, so I'll answer a couple more questions. 
Talk about your goals that you've achieved or want to achieve. I would say something that I'm really proud of that I've achieved, I guess, so far in my life is everything that I've achieved here online and on my YouTube channel. When I first started making YouTube videos, I mean, I've been doing them literally my whole entire life. Like as long as YouTube was a thing, I've uploaded some sort of content. Also, even before the internet was a thing, I've always taken my camera around with me everywhere and recorded everything. When I first started really seriously doing YouTube videos, it was probably like 2015. It was right around when I was deciding I was gonna drop out of college, to be honest. I just was like at the point where I was like, you know what, like what do I have to lose? I'm just gonna make YouTube videos. It's something that I've always really wanted to do and I kind of always quit at it. When I started, there were so many times that I almost quit. I'm just really proud of myself that I didn't quit because I wouldn't be here today and I wouldn't have met half of the amazing people that I've met. I probably wouldn't have even met Ariana. And as far as goals that I really wanna achieve, I was really hoping to hit 20K subscribers on this channel before the end of 2020. But of course, that was at the beginning of the year before all of this happened and I had so many things planned planned for my channel. I had so many trips that I was going on and so many new things that I was going to do and I was hoping that that would help grow my channel. But of course, I've kind of been stuck at home for many months on end. It's been very challenging to create content and keep people entertained, but I'm definitely not going to give up. Even if I don't hit 20k this year, I'm not giving up, so I know that I'll hit it at some point. All right, you guys, so that is it for my get ready with me on my birthday. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you to everyone who sent me a birthday wish. It literally means so much to me. I'm still going through all of my messages. Thank you guys so much. It literally means the world to me that you even took the time out of your day to watch this video or to say happy birthday to me. It just, it means everything. So thank you guys so much. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you wanna be next week's shout out of the week. Make sure you're following me on social media if you guys wanna keep up with me when I'm not uploading videos and yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching I love you so much and I will see you in my next one